the farewell Hajj. After Mecca had been conquered, Prophet Muhammad and many of his companions returned to Medina. It was the ninth year of Hijrah, known as the year of delegations, since every tribe from all over the Arabian Peninsula sent a group of representatives to greet Prophet Muhammad to declare their allegiance and pledge their commitment to him. Prophet Muhammad and his companions, peace be upon them, hosted the groups of representatives in the Prophet's mosque in Medina. The representatives of each tribe heard the Holy Quran being recited, watched the companions pray, and learned about Islam from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Many of the representatives believed in Islam immediately and were satisfied, and some did not accept as smoothly as the others. The representatives of the tribe returned to their people, calling them to accept Islam, teaching them what they learned, and telling them that they needed to get rid of all their idols. Eventually, the whole Arabian Peninsula had accepted Islam. In the tenth year of the Hijrah, Allah the Glorious revealed a command to perform Hajj for those capable of doing so. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, announced that he was going to perform Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. Flocks of people, tens of thousands of people from all over joined him. It was the largest gathering in the Arabian Peninsula at the time. Throughout the Hajj pilgrimage, Prophet Muhammad gave several sermons, including the famous primary sermon on the day of Arafah, on the plains of Arafah, Mount of Mercy. There he declared equality and solidarity between all the Muslims and reminded them of all the duties Islam had enjoined them upon. He forbade stealing, killing people, involvement in interests, and more. He commanded everyone to be good and just to their wives and women. He relayed the famous words to them. There is no superiority of an Arab over a non-Arab, or a non-Arab over an Arab, nor a white over a black, nor a black over a white, except by taqwa, piety, fear of God, and God consciousness. He told them that there are two things that they hold on to, they will not go astray. And that is the Book of Allah, the Holy Quran, and the Sunnah, the teachings of the last and final Prophet, peace be upon him. He reminded them that they would return to their Lord one day, and would judge them based on their deeds. In the end, he asked them, Have I conveyed the message? The companions replied, Yes. Then the Prophet Muhammad raised his hands in the air and looked up in the sky and said three times, O oh Allah, you bear witness.